everybody, I'm back with a video today and today I am answering the question that a lot of people have which is how many calories should I be eating? We know that um, a lot of people chronically under eat and then they wonder why they're not seeing results in the gym and your body does need adequate calories to burn fat and to put on muscle, whether you wanna do either one of those things or both of those things. So whether you need to lose fat, um, tone up, which essentially means build muscle, or if you wanna get bigger, as in gain muscle in an area, you need to be eating adequate calories. And so today I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite tools to use in order to calculate um, calories. And I will say that a lot of this is super individualistic, um, but it's a great start because every body is different um, and every body kind of has a different level at which it's comfortable in terms of caloric intake, but this is a great place to start. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to TDEE calculator. So go ahead and search that up in Google, TDEE calculator. and it's called tdeecalculator.net okay and so i'm going to click on that and i'm going to click female so it should look like this and i'm going to click female and i'm going to input my age how much i weigh my height and then my job and i do not have a sedentary job um I moderately exercise three to five days a week. And so, and I don't know my body fat and that's okay. Um, you can estimate it or you can leave it off. I'm gonna leave it off because most people should, unless you have that specific number. So I'm gonna calculate my total daily expenditure. And what this is, is this is how many calories you burn um, just living and then including exercise. So mine says in order to maintain my weight, I need to eat 2036 calories per day okay now remember if you have more muscle on you your metabolism might be a little bit higher you might um, require a few more calories a lot more calories and if your body fat percentage is lower you might require less so again this is not exact but it's a great place to start so on here they give you your base metabolic rate which is to me, that's the number you want to stray away from in terms of calories. So um, if you have someone who's giving you a diet and your diet's 1400 calories, that's way too close for me to the number of calories it requires for you to just live. You wanna be way above that because you walk around, you burn calories when you go up the stairs, you burn calories when you walk to the cubicle next to you, you burn calories um, if you chase after your child. So you actually require more than that. Now, if you scroll down, you can see that it says maintenance, cutting, and bulking. So for what I like to do is I like to take that 2036 number and I like to reduce it by 250. Why? Because for me, I'm going to um, burn 500 calories per day is equal to one pound, right? And that, again, this isn't a perfect world, you lose a pound a week, right? So five times seven is 3,500 calories. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce half of my calories from exercise and half of my calories from food. So I'm gonna go 2,036 minus 250. That's 1,786. So that's how many calories I'm going to eat daily, and I'm going to get the other half of my deficit from exercise, assuming I burn 250 calories at least during a workout, okay? Now, this is all try and, trial and error. I'm someone who likes round numbers, so I'm going to round up to 1,800 calories. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to experiment. So I'm going to experiment and see how does my body respond after a week of sticking to these um, calories and I haven't even touched macros, so we can we can do that later. But just on the calories alone, 
because your body will respond differently depending on how many carbs you eat, protein and fat. But let's just start with 1800 calories. So what I'm gonna do for the whole week is I'm gonna do my workouts consistently and I'm gonna stick to my 800 calorie range and then um, I'm gonna see what my weight does. If my weight is down two, three pounds, that actually might be too big of a deficit. I might need to go up to like 1900 because the goal is to lose fat not necessarily weight. And if you're losing a lot of pounds um, during the week, it might be tissue and muscle and not necessarily fat. So if it, I'm losing weight at a super rapid rate, what I'm gonna do is bump up my calories a little bit, okay? And I'm going to see how my body responds. If I don't lose weight, I'm gonna go another week, right? Because your body might be adjusting. I'm gonna go another week and see how my body responds after two weeks. I want to remind you that healthy fat loss is actually a half a pound to two pounds a week. So if you're one of those people who's like, I only lost a half a pound this week, that's good. That means you probably lost fat, okay? So that is it for today's video, you guys. This is how you calculate your calories and how many you need. Remember, you go to tdeecalculator.net, you type in all your information, minus your body fat percentage unless you know it, and then you look at your um, maintenance calories and you take 250 calories away from that and then you do your exercise. If you're not going to exercise, you can take 500 from that number. But even then, you guys, that might be too much. So it's better to be conservative rather than too um, strict with your calories. So you can always take it away if you need to. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Um, let me know if you like this and uh, leave a comment and share it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.